Let's talk about blockchain, a technology quietly reshaping the world. In 2025, the blockchain market is worth over $34 billion and it's growing fast. Imagine a notebook where every transaction is recorded and everyone has a copy. If someone tries to cheat, everyone knows. That's blockchain. Radical transparency. Public, verified, and unchangeable. It started with Bitcoin, but now, it's everywhere. Tracking food, selling art, and more. Like it or not, blockchain is here to stay. So, how does blockchain actually prevent cheating? It comes down to three things, decentralization, cryptography, and consensus. There's no single master copy, thousands of computers hold the same ledger. To hack it, you'd have to change every copy at once. Good luck. Each new batch of transactions, a block, is sealed with a unique code, linked to the previous block. Tamper with one, and the whole chain breaks exposing the fraud. This makes the system nearly impossible to alter without everyone noticing. The real innovation? You don't have to trust a bank or government, just the math. Blockchain is a trustless system. The code verifies everything. You can send money or make deals with strangers, confident the record is secure. It's not just about digital coins, it's about creating unchangeable records of anything, ownership, payments, even voting rights. The technology is designed to resist corruption and error. Of course, people still find ways to mess things up, but the system itself is a fortress. Data is protected by math, not middlemen. That's why blockchain is fundamentally secure by design. It's a digital ledger you can actually trust. Blockchain isn't just for Bitcoin anymore. It's powering real-world applications. Decentralized finance, or DeFi, lets you lend, borrow, and earn interest without a bank, using smart contracts that run automatically. NFTs, unique digital certificates, are being used for art, tickets, and even digital IDs. Imagine your passport, driver's license and degree as secure NFTs in your digital wallet, controlled only by you. Tokenization is turning real-world assets, like buildings or art, into digital tokens, making investing accessible to everyone. You could own a tiny slice of a skyscraper for a few dollars. By 2033, tokenized assets could be a $16 trillion market. Big business is on board, banks, retailers, and logistics companies use blockchain for transparency and security. Even Amazon and IBM offer blockchain as a service, making it easy for companies to adopt. It's a practical tool for tracking goods, verifying identities, and democratizing finance. Blockchain is quietly becoming the backbone of a new, more open economy. It's not just hype, it's changing how business works, and it's only getting started. Blockchain is a global race and the US and China are leading the charge. The US dominates in corporate adoption with giants like PayPal embracing blockchain. Meanwhile, Asia-Pacific is the fastest-growing region, with 160 million users. In countries like Vietnam and Thailand, blockchain is a practical tool for sending money and accessing financial services. The UAE is going all-in, with 25% of its population owning crypto and the government actively courting blockchain companies. Europe is moving cautiously, but countries like France are seeing rapid adoption. The EU is working on unified regulations to create a single digital asset market. From New York to Singapore, blockchain is being woven into the global economy. This isn't a niche hobby. It's a worldwide shift. The outcome of this race will shape our digital future. Nations are betting big on blockchain to transform their economies. The stakes couldn't be higher. For all its promise, blockchain is still the Wild West. The biggest problem? Security. The blockchain itself is tough to hack, but apps built on top, like exchanges and wallets, are vulnerable. Over $9 billion has been lost to hacks and scams, often due to human error or bad code. Regulation is another headache. Every country has different rules, making it hard for businesses to plan or invest. Is crypto a currency, a commodity, or a security? No one agrees. This uncertainty slows mainstream adoption. Then, there's the tech itself. Older blockchains are slow and energy-hungry. Bitcoin uses more electricity than some countries and processes far fewer transactions than Visa. Newer blockchains are faster, but scaling up is still a challenge. Integrating blockchain with old systems, like legacy banks, is a major hurdle. Until blockchains can talk to the rest of the digital world, their impact is limited. 
These are big, complex problems that need solving, but the potential rewards are huge. So, what's next? If we solve the challenges, blockchain could transform everything. The biggest impact may be on digital identity, secure cell-phoned IDs for voting, healthcare, and more. Digital identity is the fastest growing blockchain use, shifting power from institutions to individuals. For business, blockchain means transparent supply chains and instant low-fee global payments. Interoperability, blockchains talking to each other, will unlock a seamless internet of value. Billions without bank accounts could access financial services with just a smartphone. For many, blockchain isn't hype, it's a lifeline. As the tech matures, it could empower millions and create a fairer financial system. Blockchain is still young, messy, and overhyped, but its core idea is powerful. A secure, transparent, user-centric digital world. It's about shifting trust from institutions to code, from gatekeepers to networks. The road ahead will be bumpy, but the journey has begun. If blockchain succeeds, it won't just change the internet, it'll change how we trust. And that's a future worth building.